Students of dear old Carbuncle, as I see your shining faces peering forward expectantly into the future on this last day of school, I am reminded so very much of prior class. Horny! No! And so, students, as you move forward into the future, blah, 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 blah. Huh? Lily Beamish, what did I just say? Oh no, the old broom caught me. Better think of something fast. I've got something stuck in my ear. Uh, could you repeat that? I said, it's a beautiful sunny day. Your friends are outdoors having fun. The birds are singing and your report cards <laughs> are in today's mail. Oh man, that C I got in music appreciation wasn't my fault. How am I going to explain it to Dad? He's going to freak. Won't your parents be surprised when they see your report cards? <laughs> if Mom and Dad see my report card, they'll never give me the dough I need to get to the Nintari Championships this summer. Too bad you have to stay after school. What you did this morning was disgraceful, Willie. Just disgraceful and in front of all those students miss glass i'm supposed to be in juvenile court today may i be excused you didn't raise your hand nice try carmine stop talking to your neighbor chubby ribbit do you have something you wish to share with us willie <laughs> You're in for it now, Willie. Oh, that was just my frog, Horny. What did you call me? Uh, it's my frog. Yeah, he needs to stretch his legs. He's real cute. Want to see him? No, I don't. Pets are not allowed at Carbuncle School. Get that slimy creature away from me! Oh my, I think it has teeth! Oh god, it's coming near me! Get it away! Mr. Frick! Mr. Frick! Help! Well, if it isn't Willie Beamish, you little monster. Long time no see. Long time no hair. What are you here for this time, Beamish? Just had to say adios before I blow out of here for the summer. You're not going anywhere, Beamish. Not until you give me back my, you know, my hair. Here, Mr. Frick, is this thing on the endangered species list? 
If you don't watch it, Beamish, you'll be on the endangered species list. Give it to me now and get back to detention. Now get back to detention. Now, people, I want you to write a composition. It will be called How I Plan to Spend My Summer Vacation. Now, start writing, and I don't want to hear a peep out of anyone. Your standard elementary school classroom trash can, 12 by 24 aluminum, and empty. Kids prefer to place their refuge boogers, chewing gum, worn out spit wads in less obvious locations. Known as either fat kid or chubby to classmates and teachers alike, Leon is the reigning carbuncle spitball champion. This is Carmine, a true juvenile delinquent. Carmine was voted most likely to end up in a license plate factory by his classmates. An ideal argument for the merits of mandatory retirement, Ms. Glass guards her students like a pit bull and with sadistic pleasure makes sure they serve their time. My, 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 where has the time gone? Carmine? Why don't you read us your composition? How I'm gonna spend my summer vacation. First, me and my brother are gonna hotwire a car. Then we're gonna get some ski masks and drive out west. And I think we've heard enough, Carmine. Read yours, Willie. I plan to play Nintari and hang out with my friends at our treehouse. I'm going to the Nintari World Championships in New York, and I'll win because I practice every chance I get, and... Okay, students, that's the bell. You may all leave now. Have a nice summer! All right, school's history. Summer's here. Time to get rid of this school junk and get home to play some Nintari. This is the front door to the Beamish home. It opens into the foyer. The Beamish front stoop is covered with skid marks from Wooly's skateboard. Uh-oh! Somebody beat me to the mail. Dad's gonna skim me alive when he sees that sea! Don't worry, Willie. You probably would have been in more trouble if you had tried to hide the truth from your folks. Grandpa! Boy, I sure haven't heard from you in a while. You haven't needed me for a while. You got to watch yourself, boy. Something foul is afoot in the city of Frumpton. Hey, Duffy. How you doing, boy? <laughs> Hiya, boss. Maybe I should take him for a walk. Cables and grits. Cables and grits. I'm going to get me some cables and grits. The Beamish telephone answering machine contains the conventional bland message requesting that callers leave their name, a message, and their phone number. This is in stark contrast to last week's message secretly dubbed by Wooly in which callers are asked to describe their favorite use for 30 weight motor oil. Tiffany, this is Melanie. Like you won't believe what happened today. 
<laughs> like I heard Trish say that you know who did you know what with you know who? Oh God, like so call me as soon as you get home, okay? How was your last day of school, dear? Great, Mom. Just great. This is Sheila Beamish. Sheila prides herself on being the perfect wife and mother. She has devoted her life to raising three beautiful, intelligent, gifted children. Better make that two beautiful, intelligent, gifted children and one little stinker. Brianna is Willie's whiny younger sister. Two weeks after his parents brought her home, Willie tried to trade Brianna for a puppy at the local pet store. Except for encrusted chunks of kibbles and grits, Duffy's dog dish is empty. I'm glad you're home. I'm up to my ears and I really need your help. Aw, oh, Mom! I just got home and I gotta unwind. Mom, I want to go outside and play. Brianna, you'll just have to wait. Willie, you can unwind after you help me. Brianna's been whining all afternoon. Get her out of my hair before I go crazy. Just take her into the backyard for a while. No way, Mom. Brianna's a real pain. Then grab that Jinsu knife over there and julienne those veggies for dinner. No can do. I gotta practice my Atari. You know the championships are coming up. And I need all the practice I can get. Mom, you promised me that Willie would take me outside to play. Brianna, I'm starting to lose my patience. Now just be quiet or else. All right, all right. Come on, Brianna. I'll push you on the swing. Push harder, Willie. I want to go higher. You really want to go higher? Now you can get started on those carrots, Willie. Aw, oh, Mom. Careful now. That knife's made out of real carbon steel, and it's so sharp it can cut through it. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's so sharp it can cut through a shoe. Don't be such a baby. It's just a little nick. It's throbbing. I feel faint. Don't make such a big deal out of it. You're beginning to sound like Brianna. Just go upstairs and take care of it. You're bleeding all over the veggies. That knife looks rusty, Mom. You think I ought to put iodine on it? I don't care what you do as long as you don't make a mess up there.
to bathroom. There's a small inscription on the toilet which reads, If you sprinkle when you tinkle, be a sweetie and wipe the seedy. Assorted cosmetic gook of Tiffany Beamish, including but not limited to three tubes of Zit Off, two compacts, four shades of lipstick, four shades of eyeshadow, two eyebrow markers, morning face cream, noon face cream, afternoon face cream, evening face cream. No stick band-aid. Germ away. Mostly iodine, alcohol, and salt water. Oh, this iodine looks really gross. This might hurt a little, but it's better than getting gangrene. Tiffany's room. Tiffany's scale. Maybe this thing could use an adjustment. Ah, a chance like this doesn't come along very often. Tiffany's gonna freak the next time she weighs herself. Hmm, Tiffany's diary. Wonder what it's worth to her. That's personal property, Willie. What if she finds out you were messing with it? I really don't think you should take your sister's diary, Willie. What? Tiffany enjoys watching music videos six hours a day. Still trying to tour despite being 85 years old and spitting his dentures out during a concert in Lyomi, South Dakota. Bob Dillman is a rock legend who just doesn't know when to call it quits. Willie's room? This is Willie's deluxe Dentari game set. It means the world to him. Right now his sights are set on the Dentari World Championships, so he practices every chance he gets. Willie often dreams of getting paid to make a game like this, but realizes Pure fantasy. All right, nothing like a little Mintari action. I haven't played for at least eight hours. Diary. Tiffany's innermost private, but admittedly not very deep thoughts are recorded here. 
Game Buddy. Perfect for those dull classroom lectures. Horny. This is Willie's Amphibian Buddy. Yo-Yo. A Duncan Promaster Elite Model 42. This particular one was used by Oregon State champion stringer Jerry Luttrell. The autograph he inscribed upon it has enhanced the value of the yo-yo by about 12 cents. G.I. Jim Dog Tag Chain. Having long since lost the tag bearing his name, rank, and serial number, Willie carries this chain because he thinks it looks cool. The box springs are so shot that Willie's bed has a remarkably similar feel to a waterbed. The mechanical dinosaur from the Godzilla and Friends collection has never worked properly. The beast opens and closes its mouth, and then, about five seconds later, you hear the roar. Ever since Willie experimented with glue as a lubricant for his sizzle cars, the racetrack has not seen much action. After Willie glued Brianna to her bed, his parents started purchasing prefabricated models. Willie keeps flies, beetles, and slugs in this jar to feed to Orson and Horny. Although recently, Orson has been very finicky and will only eat neon tetras. Willie, time for dinner! Dinner looks great, Mom. What is it? Where's your father? Everyone's always late around here. Say, Coco, then, on that plum sweet, a vegetable like you belay. Shut up and woo, you little show offer. Play then, Brianna. Willie, don't talk to your little sister that way. Your dad should be home by now. I bet he got the big promotion. You know, Clip's father is a millionaire, and he's not as old as Daddy. <laughs> he made his fortune in women's lingerie. And I'll bet he looks pretty cute in it, too. Clip's father takes the whole family to the south of France every summer. <laughs> oh, I think he's going to ask me to come along this year. Over my dead body. Clip is, like, so intellectual. You know what I mean? And what's he doing with you? Stop arguing and eat. Not a word about your dad's surprise party. Gordon, a vice president. Just think of the prestige, the money. And he's not even 40 yet. When he comes home, let's all let him know how much we love him. Hi, Hi Daddy. Daddy. Hi, honey. Hi, kids. Hey, Dad. Congratulations on your promotion. Oh, Daddy. We're so proud of you. Get him, Mom, Pear. Well, when do you start your new job, Mr. Vice President? Dad, can I have the 2500 bucks I need to go to the Atari Championship? Can I get a new car when I get my driver's license? Oh, Gordon, now we can take that cruise to the Galapagos Islands. I'm afraid I have some bad news. The agency let me go today. What? 
The old man said he's got to downsize the agency, restructure. He said public relations is in a period of negative accelerated growth. Then he gave my job to a guy four years younger than me. You mean you got fired? Just like that? Just like that. I'm a failure. Nearly 40 and out of a job. What am I going to do? Oh my God! Daddy has been pink slipped? Don't worry, kids. People lose their jobs every day. I'm sure your father has a contingency plan, right, dear? Not really. What do you mean? How are we supposed to make the mortgage and car payments? How are we going to pay for Brianna's gifted preschool program? Or the credit cards, or my facials, or my nail wrap? Or Tiffany's nose job? Can you still give me the $2,500 I need to get to the Nintari Championships? Sorry, son. It's time to cut back, trim the fat, tighten the belt. When we get back on our feet, we'll take another look, okay? But then the championships will be over! Now listen up. We're all gonna have to make some changes around here. You know? Sacrifices. It's only temporary. Hey, anybody seen the mail? I brought it in when I came home from school. Here it is. Thanks, hon. Bills and more bills. Whatever happened to junk mail? Hey, something from Carbuncle School. I wonder if it's the invitation to the father-son softball game. Oh, it's Willie's report card. Not bad, not bad. But what's this? C in music appreciation? You'd have to be a total jerk to get a C in a music appreciation. You know, Cliff can play the piano with one hand. What's he doing with the other hand? Well, Cliff doesn't waste his time playing stupid and tar, you know. It's not stupid. It's really good for my eye-hand coordination. Gordon, I warned you the moment you brought that Nintari game into the house. But Mom! Dad! I don't want to discuss it anymore. Tiffany here, take the Natari key. Lock the damn thing up. I'm the boss around here and what I say goes. Consider it locked, Dad. I've got to get that key back. If I can't practice, I'll never win the championship. Magnum Box 21-inch color television set picks up 427 channels, including channel 392, BTV, the 24-hour all bowling network. Quiet, everyone. I want to hear this. This just in. Marathon talks between Mayor Dinks and the plumbers have broken off. An unidentified source told KOPK News that there were unconfirmed reports of name-calling and obscene gestures. Union boss Lewis Stuhl could not be reached for comment. Mayor Dinks is expected to hold a news conference tomorrow morning. We'll interrupt our regularly scheduled programming if there are any new developments. Stay tuned for our 11 o'clock broadcast for more news, weather, and highlights of the Frumpton Girls Volleyball Playoffs. Live from the KOPK Newsroom, this is Stan Lather. I tell you, Frumpton is going downhill fast. Now the plumbers are going to go on strike. I'm sure Mayor Dinks has everything under control. Here, maybe this chocolate mousse will cheer you up. Boy, does this look rich. It contains no sugar, additives, or preservatives. I made it with Toot Sweet, only two calories per serving. 
Oh, please. Just a little something for me? Why couldn't I come up with something like Toot Sweet? Everybody uses this stuff. I'm begging you. Here, boy. You're part of the family, too. Willie, I've told you a thousand times not to feed that overgrown, mangy mud at the table. It's not good for him. Sure it is, Mom. It doesn't have any sugar. It's made with tooth sweet. You said so yourself. Willie, get that miserable mud out of here. Now! Didn't they teach that dog anything in obedience school? Meanwhile... I'll tell you, babe, we've got something in the palm of our hand. With my boys out on strike, the world's our oyster. Gonna make some folks mad, though. Don't worry. I've taken care of that. I placed an ad for a new spokesman for Toot Sweet. Yeah, so? So, all we have to do now is wait for some gullible sap we can use as a fall guy to knock on our door. <laughs> <laughs> the guy will have to be a real doofus. Don't worry. It won't be long now, sweet cheeks. You and I are gonna own Frumpton. Uh, I feel so relaxed. This hot tub works great. Of course it does. You installed it yourself. Exhausted from a hectic morning of chasing the mailman around the neighborhood and a major excavation project in the backyard, Duffy sprawled languorously upon the living room sofa. This is Gordon Beamish. Days away from his 40th birthday, Gordon is entering the realm known as Midlife Crisis. Up till now, he's provided his family every creature comfort. But now his savings account is receding faster than his hairline. Gordon is worried, and he should be. This is a solid-state 23-inch color television set from the hottest name in electronics, Phony. The first edition of I Didn't Mean to Turn You Off, Tommaso Bruccelli's expose of the lusty lives of computer programmers. <laughs> a portrait of Gordon's father, William Beamish. The children all love their grandfather very much. Especially Willie. I want you to go mow the lawn now, son. I'll even throw in a couple of bucks for you. Oh, all right. Ah, oh, they're in trouble, girl. i trouble. Dining room. Mom, I need you. I'm in the tub and I'm out of conditioner. Willie, take your sister a bottle of conditioner. Do I have to? Just do it. I'm busy. I'm a lucky dog to have such a nice master like Willie. Money.
What are you doing in here, butthead? Mom told me to get you some conditioner, Moose Lips. your conditioner. Your hair has such body, sheen, a certain radiance. Now can I have the key please? Not in a million years, turkey face. Tiff, my big sister, buddy, pal, I'm begging you. Drop dead. You won't get away with this, punk. I already have. To Brianna's room. To Gordon and Sheila's bedroom. A tasteful arrangement of dried pussy willows and cattails decorate the upstairs hallway. The name of this piece is Venus After Haircut. To a train room. Help me, Willie! I've fallen and I can't get up! Thanks, Willie! Yeah, well, don't think I like you all of a sudden. You're still a girl. I'm just trying to get our mom's good side. It's locked. But hey, I have the key. Ninkari key. The key to fun. Championships now. Typical teenager, Tiffany Beamers, struggles with the angst of adolescence. Acne, apathy, authority, and what to wear to the mall each day. Tiffany's scale, slightly modified. Tiffany is the captain of Frampton High's cheerleading squad, and she has the pom-poms to brew it. Hey, Tiff! Get out of here. The door is locked. Last week, Gordon gave Willie a beginner's tool set. Two days ago, Willie nailed the closet doors shut. Yesterday, 
Gordon took the tool set back to the store. Tiffany hangs her towels very neatly. Willie tries to restrict exposure to his sister's cooties, so he hangs his towels on his bedroom floor. Willie, it's close to bedtime. Good night, buddy. See you in the morning. I wonder what Grandpa meant when he said something funny was going on in Frumpton. Good night, Willie. Later. I wonder what Dana and Perry are up to. Think I'll stop by the tree fort and see what's going on. Morning, Dad. Hi, Brianna. Ugh. I'm hungry, really, and I want some cereal. Sure, Brianna. What do you want? Honey roasted kooky clowns or fiber squares? Ooh, I want honey roasted kooky clowns. Lots of them. Hey, boss. How about me? I'm hungry, too. All right, boy. I'll get you some food. almost over. I want to watch Space Noids from Cybernet. It's on next. But I want to watch Ponytails. What are you reading, Dad? The want ad, son. I gotta find a job ASAP. See anything interesting? Actually, there is one. to call him? What have I got to lose? Hello! I'm calling about an ad I saw in today's paper. So, you think you fit all the qualifications? Well, I'm a glib sweet talker, and I've worked in public relations. But are you mature and handsome? I'll let you be the judge of that. When can we meet? Not so fast. You sound like a real mover and a shaker, Mr. Uh, what did you say your name was? Beamish. Gordon Beamish. At your service. Beamish has a nice ring to it. I'd like to meet you, Mr. Beamish. How about first thing tomorrow morning? I'll be there with bells on. I'll be waiting for you. And Gordon, leave your bells at home. Oh, uh, I forgot to ask. To whom am I speaking? Leona Humphrey, of course. 
I own the Toot Sweet Processing Center. Toot Sweet? We use that stuff all the time. Doesn't everybody? I look forward to meeting you, Gordon. All right! I've got an interview! I've got an interview! Can you keep it down, Dad? I want to see this! Looked a lot bigger than your frog. Oh, yeah. All Horny needs is a little practice. Hold it down, kids. I want to see this. You can pour it. You can shake it. You can freeze it. You can bake it. Any way you use it. With Toot Sweet, you're sure to lose it. Thanks to Recycled Sludge, you won't be such a pudge. Go on, have that treat. It's okay, it's made with Toot Sweet. I can't believe it. I have an interview with Toot Sweet tomorrow. Hey, Dad. Since you're in such a good mood, can I have my allowance? Not so fast, pal. What do you think I am, made out of money? Money doesn't grow on trees, you know. You gotta earn it. Aw, oh, Dad! Give me a break. You know, when I was a boy... I've heard that story a million times. Everybody's gotta pull their own weight around here. Now go wash the Granger over. Suppose you want a hot wax, too. Just a wash, that's all. Consider it done. This is not how I imagined myself spending the summer. Money! To Treefort. To Slopher Park. This is Dana Mitchell's house. Nestled in the heart of a medium-density subdivision, the Beamish home is typical of the middle-class structures which populate this suburban neighborhood. Hey, what's going on? Willie and friends keep club treasure in this chest. Among the items considered treasure are a car-flattened snake, a dozen egg grenades, a six-pack of empty beer cans, and an ever-growing collection of toadale clippings. Hey, Willie, where you been? Hi, Willie. By the way, Willie, 
I brought your comic book back. It's over there on the shelf. Thanks! Comic book. Holy Pulp Magazine. It's Biffo Man Comic Book. This is Willie's friend, Perry. Perry is a serious student. Willie is a serious goofball. They make a great team. Got a can of slam dunk for me? Just ran out, man. Got any more gum? Get any good baseball cards? I never get the good ones, just the rookie. Hey, what's this? It's a Mickey Morris! There's only 12 of them in the whole world! So? Man, I want that card. You gotta give it to me. Yeah? What do you give me for it? Let's see what I have with me. Tiffany's diary? What would I want that for? How could you be trading your sister's diary? Diary's supposed to be private. Boys. Haven't you always wondered what an older woman thinks and does? Take a look, you might learn something. Here, let me read you a sample. May 12th, Cliff is so tender and loving, and his pants are so tight. Uh-oh, sounds like your sister really has the hots for this guy. Read some more, Willie. May 15th, we kissed so long, I thought I was gonna get lockjaw. This is great stuff. You got a deal, Willie. Okay, give me the card. You guys make me sick. Hey, what's that? I named her Gigi. What do you think of her? Am I in heaven or what? Hello there, big boy. She's cute. Almost as cute as you, Dana. Look at Horny. I think he's in love. I think he's in love. I'm gonna enter Horny in the annual Toot Sweet Frog Jump. You can enter Gigi too, Dana. Are you crazy? Gigi's a shelf frog. Look at him jump! Look at Horny go! Gigi doesn't need to prove anything. All you boys ever think about is winning. Oh, come on, Dana. It'll be a lot of fun. Without Gigi, Horny just doesn't seem motivated enough. So that's why you want me to enter Gigi. So Horny can win? No, no. That's not what I meant. Yes, it is. Okay, so that's what I meant. But if you don't enter Gigi, Horny doesn't stand a chance. All you care about is yourself and Horny. Typical male Jovenus. No way, Jose. My decision is final. We at least think about it? Sure. Hey, sports fans. I'm kind of hungry. Want to go over to the Slice of Life and get a pizza? I got a free coupon! Later...
get your souvenir snapshot. Treasure the moment. Only one dollar. Hey, fellas. How about a romantic picture of you and the little lady? Think of it. The three of us immortalized forever. Anyone have a dollar? I'm tapped out. I do. Here, mister. Okay, everyone. Look at the birdie. I think you're gonna like this one. Here you go, young fella. Something for your scrapbook. Thanks, kids. remember this stuff being so spicy. Sure does have a kick to it. This pizza goes well with slam dunk cola though. Maybe we should have stuck with the basic pepperoni instead of the anchovy olive surprise. No wonder this joint gives out free coupons. You get what you pay for. Man, am I paying for this? I feel like I'm gonna explode. It wasn't me. It wasn't me either. He who smelt it dealt it. P U. Oh, gross! I think it was that guy over there. You ruined my lunch, creep. Uh oh, I feel another wave coming on. Don't you know breaking wind is bad table manners? Skulls balls like you deserve to be punished. I gotta get to the bathroom quick! Not so fast, fart face. Let me go! I'm warning ya! Get out of my face! Walls are still a little tacky, so don't touch anything, Sonny. And don't use the last stall over there. Had to pour the turpentine down the toilet. Shouldn't you put up a wet paint sign? Ran out of them on my last job. No smoking is all I got left. Same difference. No smoking sign. Nice going, butthead. You stunk up the whole joint. Now I'm gonna rearrange your face. Sorry, man. It just sort of happened. It was an accident. You're an accident waiting to happen if you don't give me something out of your backpack. Let's see what I have in here. Biffo, man! My favorite! I recommend the last stall. It has the best lighting. Forget the pizza! We've got to get out of here or I'm finished! Meanwhile... about. Let's just say I have a hunch Spider's gonna give up smoking in the near future. Well guys, that was some pizza. Sure was. I really enjoyed it. Are you gonna come down and watch the frog jump, Perry? I wouldn't miss it, but you need to make sure you head down to West Frumpton tomorrow and fill out an entry blank for the contest at Toot Sweet Pavilion. I heard the ferry will be running again by then. Why isn't it running now? My dad said that Gus ran the USS Dumpling aground on a sandbar. Again. I think Gus is kind of weird. 
Once they told me that he was wounded in the war, and they had to put a metal plate in his head. <laughs> I bet he has a heck of a time with the metal detectors at the airport. Oh, he's not so bad. I even trade baseball cards with him, sometimes. Just the same. I'm glad he's not piloting oil tankers in Alaska for a multinational petroleum company. You're probably right. Hey, how about we all go to the park and let the frogs practice jumping? Okay, Willie. That sounds like a great idea. We just have to figure out a way to beat Turbo Frog's record 25-footer. Nice day for some jumping practice, eh, Willie? Earlier in the day, two kids used chalk to make distance markers for determining how far their frogs jumped in comparison to Turbo's world record of 25 feet. During hot summer days, Willie and Perry can often be found on the fountain's top level, spitting water out of their mouths. Hey, 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 okay! What'll it be? I've got slam dunk for a buck. Let's get on with it, Willie. I'll take a bottle of that stuff. That'll be a buck. Bring back the bottle when you're done. I recycle them. Not bad, but it won't be Turbo Frog. Gee, Horny never jumped that far before. Gigi's never been around before, either. I bet Gigi can jump farther than Turbo Frog. Wow, that was amazing. What's in this stuff? I hope it's nothing toxic. See you guys later. See you, Willie. Okay, Tiff. Now push in the clutch and start the motor. What's a clutch? The pedal on the floor to your left. Oh my, what's this thingy bob? That's the gear shift. Okay, Tiff, now ease her into reverse. Wait, stop! Ah! Nice driving, sis. To Treefort. This is Dana Mitchell's house. International Headquarters for Dynamic Software. Although company officials are considering relocating to Madagascar. Time be time, man. The corn of many a Frumpton well-wisher has splashed the waters of the Harry Humphrey Memorial Fountain. some coins and two fairy tokens in it. Slice of Life Pizza is owned and operated by Giuseppe Vincenzi. 
Due to Giuseppe's frequent fishing trips, Slice of Life is only open every other third Tuesday during the summer fishing season. To OK T-Shirt Kiosk. This is Ruth Westenheimer, the OK T-Shirt Kiosk clerk. When she's not selling T-shirts, Ruth hosts a local cable television program called Dr. Ruth, on which she provides advice for training pets. Like these shirts? I have them on special this week, only $5. They're all cotton. If you have a picture, it would only take a second to transfer it to a shirt. They make a great gift, and the colors are so lifelike. It won't bleed, run, shrink, or fade, and you can wash it a thousand times. Can you turn this picture into a t-shirt? Here you go. Came out perfect. Want three more? I'll give you another 10% off. Six more, 15% off. Buy a dozen and I'll take 20%. Want to gross? I'll save you even more. The sign on the lottery machine says, Out of order. Maybe there's some money in the coin slot. Oh, look. A ticket to this week's Dexterton State Lottery. Only two ways to get to Humford Mansion, via a private road or by water. Neither of these options appear to be open to you at the moment. I'll go to the park and let the frogs practice jumping. Okay, that sounds super. It's the three of us. Three best friends. We can wash it a thousand times. Oh, Willie, it's beautiful. I'll wear it for the rest of my life. Friendship is more important than winning a dumb old frog jump contest. Well, I better get moving. Willie, wait. I'm going to the frog jump with you on Monday. Best friends gotta stick together. Gigi will show them what she can do. We just have to figure out a way to beat Turbo Frog's record 25 footer. Willie and his friends are counting on the full branches of this oak to provide adequate cover for phase one of Operation Lay Waste to Lamos. See you guys later! See you, Willie! Lottery ticket! 6, 7, 13, 26, 31. Bonus number 49. Slam Dunk Coda! Uh huh, you got the right one, baby. I don't 
don't really need to practice Nintari anymore. I know I'm going to win, but I think I will anyway. Willie keeps flies, beetles, and slugs in this jar to feed to Orsom and Horny. Although recently, Orsom has been very finicky and will only eat Neon Petras. Collections. The car payments on your Grange Rover are delinquent, Mr. Beamish. Now, I know you folks don't want any trouble, so just put a check in the mail, okay? Otherwise, I'm gonna tow your fancy imported heap all the way back to Mexico. Gotta figure out a way to get Horny to beat Turbo Frog's record 25 footer. Yum, yum! Wake up, horny! I guess frogs can't jump on a full stomach. Come on, horny! You can do better than that! I'd better get home to dinner! I'm glad you're home, Willie. This is Alicia, your new babysitter. Be good, kids, and do what Alicia tells you. And Willie, after you've had dinner, vacuum the living room. Duffy is shedding something awful. But, Mom, we don't need a sitter. I'm old enough to take care of Brianna. And you'd better do everything she tells you. Come on, hon. We're going to be late for the barbecue. Ugly! We're gonna have some fun tonight. Yeah, sure we are. Don't be such a stick in the mud. Don't be such a weirdo! Is 
dinner almost ready? You bet it is. What are we having? Macaroni and cheese, Alicia style. It smells so good. Okay, we're ready. Into the dining room, kids. Dinner is served. What's for dinner? I hope it isn't the same thing I had for lunch. Mmm. Mmm, good. It's just macaroni and cheese. Big deal! Can't babysitters make anything else for dinner? You're not using your imagination. Let me help you. Look, my fork! It's moving across the plate by itself! <laughs> You're all mine now. Maybe Mom should have checked your references. This must be the babysitter from hell. Hide, Brianna. Maybe I can use this hairspray on the little beastie. That seemed to slow it down a bit, but I'm gonna need to find a way to catch that thing. Critter, be a pity to let some flying predator get him. Take that, sucker! What? Well, where am I? What happened? Mom, Dad! The most awful thing just happened. There was a bat and... Shh, it was nothing, Willie. You just had a little nightmare, that's all. It must have been something I ate. Good night, dear. Sleep tight. Don't let the bats... Uh, uh, bed bugs bite. Later... Rise and shine! Today's the last day to get an entry blank for the frog jump. I'd better go pick one up in West Frumpton. Yuck! What the heck's wrong with the water?
it wasn't my fault. Cliff was giving me a driving lesson and he said back up, so I did and... And ran into a street light? It got in the way and now there's this really huge ding and now I don't know if Cliff will ever speak to me again. You've been seeing too much of Cliff anyway. There are lots of other fish in the sea. Not like Cliff. He even promised he wouldn't report this to his insurance company. He's going to give you and Daddy the repair bill. This thing between you and Cliff is getting too serious. Your father and I want you to date other boys. And give up the love of my life, the center of my universe, my heart's desire. <gasps> Why? Because I said so, and I'm your mother. That's why. You'll be sorry. You'll see. Meanwhile... Gordon. The world is composed of little people who depend on us to show them how to get the most out of an otherwise shabby, dull existence. What I need is a vice president with vision and burning ambition, a dynamic spokesman reflecting the tooth sweet, uh, wholesome image, a leader who can interface with the general public and project this company's unlimited upward potential. Somebody who understands the big picture. Precisely. I have grand plans for Toot Sweet, and I want you to be a key player, Gordon. You're not uncomfortable standing in the spotlight, becoming a power broker, earning obscene amounts of money, are you? I was made for this job, Mrs. Humphrey. How soon can I start? Call me Leona. Would tomorrow morning be too soon? Just tell me what time. Around 10-ish. We can iron out the details and you can pick out your new office. If I'm not mistaken, there's a stunning corner suite available with a drop-dead view. Welcome to the Toot Sweet family, Gordon. Cables and grits. Cables and grits. I'm gonna get me some cables and grits. It's great to be free from the ravages of intelligence. This is Brianna's cute little kitty, Mr. Snickers. Mr. Snickers is sleeping right now. When he's not sleeping or eating or squatting, Mr. Snickers likes to go outside and prowl and maul little creatures, then bring them inside and drop them on the rug as a present. Just last week, Mr. Snickers gave the Beamishes two dead robins and a live mouse.
I want to play on the swing. Be my guest. Ma, Willie is teasing me, and he won't push me on the swing. All right already. Let's go. Willie? Are you sure? Hiya, Willie! Hiya! This is high enough. If you crash, I'll really be in the doghouse. You spoiled sport, Billy! Meanwhile... Your current weight is 157 pounds. Ouch! Gasp! Slice of Life Pizzeria. From this pier, you can catch the ferry to West Frumpton. To West Frumpton. No talk and no ride. Ferry token. Good for a one-way trip on the Frumpton Ferry. Okay, kid, get moving. Can you help, please? We want to have a picture. A picture of me? No, no, you take picture of us. Sure. Okay. Everybody move in real tight. The boy says move to the right. Don't move a hair! The boy says we need to move over there. Say cheese! Freeze! My grandfather wishes to show his gratitude. You shouldn't have. Hope it's not a bottle of English leather. The boy says we'll be friends forever. Wow! A real ninja star and a heavy duty smoke bomb. Domo arpigato! These are great! Lunchworks to Golden Bowl Tavern. Last Thursday, the rock band Twisted Mister gave an impromptu concert from the rooftop of the Tootsuite administrative offices to Plumbers Union. In a recent survey, Vanity Flare magazine ranked Frumpton as the country's 23,567th most livable city.
better rap on the window if you want service. Uh, can I have an entry blank for the frog jump, please? Would you like tickets for the Toot Sweet Tour, too? No thanks. Just the entry blank, please. The tour is half price on Mondays. We give discounts for parties of six or more. Sure you don't want tickets? Yeah, I'm sure. Just the entry blank, okay? Okay, okay. Here's two entry blanks in case you screw one of them up. Thanks, mister. The tour runs every hour on the hour in case you change your mind. That's Tuesdays through Friday. Saturdays we have tours every half hour, and Sunday and Monday tours run between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. Admission for children under six is free, but they must be accompanied by an adult. We offer senior citizen discounts every day, and guided tours are available by appointment. One month advance ticket purchases are recommended from September until May. Two days advance purchases the rest of the year. A self-guided tour is available daily, and we offer a student discount. We're closed on major bank holidays and... The Wadawini stand is presently not open for business. Form Formerly the Penn and Teller building, this impressive edifice contains the plush administrative offices of Tut Sweet, makers of the world's most popular artificial sweetener. Leona Humford had the building redecorated to her exacting specifications. Contestants in the 12th annual Toot Sweet Frog Jumping Contest must register their frogs here the day of the contest. Officials will review all entry forms and weigh in the frogs to verify eligibility. Plumbers Union. To Plumbers Union. To Phone Booth. As with sideburns, baggy jeans, horn rimmed glasses, and swirlies, which describes the hairstyle of a person who is dunked into a toilet and flushed. Please, kids, don't try this at home with your baby sister. Scooters are once again popular. This Vespit model will do 40 miles per hour on a downhill slope. Brothers and sisters, we have been taken for granted long enough. Right on. Yeah! Sure, we show up at people's houses in the middle of the night when they've got an emergency. Sure, we shove our hands down their toilet bowls. My friends, the people of Frumpton don't care. You know why? Because when they see one of us plumbers, they say, Look at that slob. He's tired, he's fat, and his butt's always hanging out of his pants. Yeah! Tell him, Louie! The fact is, nobody has any respect for plumbers. Not the mayor, not the people of Frumpton. They leave us no choice. I say we strike now. Strike, 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 strike! From now on, we're gonna call ourselves Tubulet Technicians. And that's not all. We're gonna double our hourly rate. We're gonna demand eight weeks vacation. We're never gonna work weekends and holidays again. Blue, 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 blue. Get out of here, kid. Can't you see we're having a meeting here? is Golden Bull's bouncer Ray Boom Boom Hadley, once a maniacal fighter who collected the tooth fragments of his victims. Ray began dating a new age woman four months ago, and is now, in his own words, aligned with Aquarius. Ray keeps tabs of his astrological whereabouts every hour on the hour to ensure harmony with the universe.
This is the Golden Bowl Bar, the local watering hole for Frumpton's 2,352 plumbers. Like its customers, the Golden Bowl Bar could use a good wiping. If you don't mind muck, smell, and trench mouth, however, this could be the place for you. Metro Frumpton Bus 7 stops here every 30 minutes on the half hour. Give or take a couple of hours. During the hot summer days, kids uncap the city fire hydrants to cool off and frolic in the powerful spray of water. I wouldn't look down there if I were you. This city sewer system duck serves the Golden Bowl and its infamous high-octane flash burn chili. Better get out of here, kid. This neighborhood gets rough when the sun goes down. Can't be any worse than Tiffany's bedroom. I'm warning you. When it gets dark, every creep in lowlife comes crawling out of the woodwork. You better go home, kid. I'd better think of something fast. Sorry, kid. You gotta be accompanied by an adult. Smoke Bomb! A real blast at street parties. Ninja Star! That's called the Shurikan in Ninja Lingo. Sorry, kid. Come back in about ten years. <laughs> I... Oh, jeez, here they come. Oh, this is some bad karma, man. I wonder what the turtles would do in my predicament. I can't leave the door, Sonny. I'm on duty. Besides, my horoscope said not to get into any gang fights today. Great! I'm about to get clobbered and I've got Tinkerbell for a backup man! Here, maybe this'll help. We are the Cripes! We butt heads when we play! From our first cigarette to your last dying day! Hey, punk! What are you doing on our toys? Let's wait him! Get him! What did he say? He said those guys are gonna commit robbery. We must aid him! Ninjas, prepare for battle! We challenge thee to battle upon the roof of this structure! Oh brother, a bunch of freakos wearing jammies wanna fight! I'm gonna turn him into sushi. Let's take them out! Come on! Everybody to the roof!
everyone. Please to look at the body. Later. Thanks. You saved me. What did he say? That boy likes sashimi. Without your help, it would have been curtains. What did he say? That boy said he enjoyed eating the urchin. Man, am I full. The food was primo. Huh? He wants us to take him home in our limo. I'll bet mom and dad are worried about where I am. If I don't make it home before bedtime, I'm gonna get majorly busted. It's a dog's life. I am a lucky dog to have such a nice master like Willie. It's great to be free from the ravages of intelligence. Willie, it's your bedtime. Why aren't you in bed? Get going, young man. Get a good night's sleep, horny. Tomorrow's the big day. I'd better get some rest too. Look out, Turbo Frog. Here we come. Good night, Willie. Later. Have you seen my yellow power tie? I start my new job today. I have to look sharp. Gordon, we have a problem. I'm going to be late. Tell me later. Where are my paisley suspenders? Gordon, we have a problem. Not now, hun. Which suit should I wear? The pinstripe or the navy? Wear the pinstripe. I think you ought to take a look at this. There's something wrong with our plumbing. So call a plumber. Get it fixed. Can't you see I'm in a rush? Wake up and smell the coffee. There is no coffee. Something is wrong with the pipes. When I turn on the faucet, this brown gunk comes out. 
My lucky couplings. I know I put them somewhere. Hey, Dad! Check out Tiffany's nose! What? Huh? What have you done to your hair? And just what in the hell is that thing doing in your nose, young lady? Take it out immediately! And then go upstairs and wash that awful makeup off your face! She can't. There's no water. Don't worry, dear. She's just going through a phase. Help me find my briefcase. I can't be late! Me neither. I've gotta get to the frog jump. Good luck, Dad. I'm out of here. Meanwhile... Soon, everything I see before me will be mine. The sludge works, the real estate, West Frompton, everything. I worked so hard to get this far. Now, I must be patient. Let all the pieces fall into place. Let others do the work for me. People are meant to be used. I use them, then I use them up. Then I throw them away. Then I find someone else to use. Isn't life delicious? <laughs> okay, calm down. Here you go, boy. What a life. Sleep all day, chase cats, bark at the mailman. It's a dog's life. standing in front of the residence of Gordon Beamish, the new Tootsuite spokesman and vice president of public relations. Uh, Mr. Beamish, Mr. Beamish, may we have a word with you? Uh, good morning. Will the plumber strike affect the Tootsuite company? I'll have to get back to you on that. Is it true the public faces a Tootsuite shortage if the strike isn't settled quickly? Ladies, gentlemen, it's my first day on the job. Give me a break. How are you going to make Toot Sweet without sludge? Can we expect the general public to put on weight? Will people get more cavities? Will this have an impact on tourism? Let's not jump to conclusions. As far as I know, it's still business as usual. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to be late for work. Everything is going according to my plan. Gordon Beamish makes the perfect patsy. We've been speaking to the spokesman for Tooth Sweet, Gordon Beamish. Stay tuned for further developments concerning the plumbing crisis here in Frumpton. And be sure to watch our special report tonight at 11 about a local family cashing in on the crisis by renting Portable Johns. The Beamish front stoop is covered with skid marks from Woolies skateboard. The Beamish front... at the frog jump, Willie. You better get moving.
to West Frumpton. I'm talking with Turbo Frog and his owner Hans. Hans, this is the biggest turnout Toot Sweets ever had for the annual frog jump. Do you think your frog has anything to do with it? Absolutely. Turbo is known the world over as the longest jumper. People come from all over to see him jump. You've had a chance to study the field, to see the competition. How do you rate the other frogs? I will tell you, Stan. These other frogs will be outclassed. They are too small and skinny. They should eat more, like my Turbo here. Turbo is well known on the circuit for his incredible 25-foot jump. Do you think any of these frogs are capable of beating his world record today? You must be joking. Turbo is world-class jumper. These other frogs, they are bimpy. The race will begin as soon as I receive and verify entry blanks from each contestant. Pony looks a bit nervous. Hey baby, get a load of these muscles. What are you doing with that little tadpole? It takes more than muscles to impress Gigi, bub. <sighs> what a hunk. Who are you calling a tadpole, snitzel brain? I'm gonna cream you. Oh, by the way, nice later, hosen spud. Entry blank. An entry blank with a lot of blank entries. Thanks, Sonny. We can start the contest now. Turbo is wearing a torpid expression on his face and looks like he could use a nap. I'm sure that Turbo Frog is going to win this race. Good luck in the contest, Dark. Oh really? This is so exciting? This isn't a frog. It's actually a ceramic paperweight. I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome all of you to the annual Toot Sweet Frog Jump. This is a very special occasion for two reasons. First, we're introducing Diet Slam Dunk Cola here today for the very first time. It has all the punch you'd expect from regular Slam Dunk Cola, but only two calories. It's made with Toot Sweet, naturally. Please, help yourself to a complimentary cup. But even more important, I just want to say what an honor and a privilege it is to be able to give something back to our community. The Toot Sweet Annual Frog Jump is our way of saying thank you to the people of Brompton. So, on behalf of Toot Sweet, enjoy yourselves and may the best frog win. And I can't wait to sink my teeth into a big plate of frog legs. All right, you know the rules. No kicking, spitting, or foul language. No chemicals, preservatives, or additives. No pinching, no punching. Got the race already! Good luck, Willie. Thanks, Dana. 
On your marks, get set, go! I got one! Over there! Get him before he gets away! Bag that sucker! I got him! I got him! I don't got him! I sure was surprised to see reporters at my house this morning. They're nothing but vultures. Toss them a bone, they'll go away. Everybody seems so upset about this plumber's strike. I think Tootsuite should intercede. You know, act as a mediator before this thing turns into a full-scale crisis. You're not being paid to think. Besides, one man's crisis is another man's business of opportunity. What if the sludge works actually shut down? What if the sludge backs up? Where's the stuff gonna go? What are we all gonna tell people? That's your problem. Tell them whatever they want to hear. But sinks and toilets are stopped up all over town. The sewers are starting to overflow. We won't be able to make any more toot sweet. What's the matter, Gordon? Can't take the heat. Your sniveling, bleeding heart attitude is starting to annoy me. I thought you were slick. I thought you could finesse your way around anything. What am I supposed to do? Tell the good people of Frumpton everything is hunky-dory when their city is about to be sludged? Do you expect me to lie to my friends? My neighbors? My own family? Of course! Isn't that what public relations is all about? Looking for somebody? Yeah, I was looking for my frog. Have you seen him? I'll ask the questions. What were you doing listening on a private conversation? I thought I heard my dad in there. Yeah, and I'm Santa Claus. You're coming with me. I asked you once, now I'm going to ask you again. Why were you trespassing? I'm telling the truth. My frog jumped into the lobby after the contest. Please, mister, I have to find him. He must be scared. Name? Horny. First name? This is security. This is Mrs. Humphrey. I want every last frog rounded up and delivered to my mansion. Yes, Mrs. Humphrey. Look! There he is! We just caught the last one. I'll send him right over, ma'am. Uh-oh! Horny's in trouble, big time! I gotta rescue Horny! Trespassing? Eavesdropping? Let's see. Under Statute 344.131, under Section C of the Municipal Code of Frumpton, it says here we have to report this incident to the authorities. Please, sir. Let me out of here. What's the matter, kid? You got something else on your social agenda? First, we're going to have to fill out a form D12 in triplicate, and then we're going to have to verify your identity, and... Please! Before it's too late! Are we having fun yet? Guess I have to put a call into the Frumpton police. G.I. Jim Dog Tag Chain. 
Having long since lost the tags bearing his name, rank, and serial number, Willie carries this chain because he thinks it looks cool. Congratulations, young man. You win first prize. Here's a check made out for $25,000. And there's a brand new Yamasaki jet ski waiting for you down on Dumpling River. I'll get my money later. I've got to save Horny. And that's not all. You're going to get a year's supply of new Diet Slam Dunk Cola and a Toot Sweet t-shirt valued at $11.95. This is Stanley, Leona Humphrey's chauffeur and principal leg breaker. Unbothered by brain waves, Stanley can achieve sleep with a canine efficiency. He also tends to drool. He is housebroken, however. Forged from copper, these sinister perched owl figurines serve as a warning to those who enter the grounds of the Humphrey Mansion. Built in 1846, the Humphrey Mansion reflects the competing influences of Gothic and Victorian architecture. To those unfamiliar with Leona Humphrey's mansion, the structure's sagging and blotted facade suggests negligent repair. In actuality, Leona has carefully orchestrated this appearance to create the aura of her favorite animal, the vulture. An impressive list of sports figures, celebrities, politicians, and dignitaries have visited Humphrey Mansion and signed the guest register. Why, just last week, Paula Abdul-Jabbar, the former center for the L.A. Lakeman and present pop music star dancer, stopped in to pay Leona a visit. This is Arthur, Harry Humphrey's beloved talking parrot. When Harry bit the big one, Arthur was left to the care of Leona, Lonely and mistreated, Arthur longs for friendship. Don't you think I'm pretty? Best speak in the city. I could wash myself all day. Ah! See my gorgeous feathers, multicolored treasures. Don't you want to talk and play? Ah! Well, don't you? Sure. Hi. What's your name? Arthur. What's your name, honey? Willie Beamish. Most parrots talk, but I can sing too. Here's a little tune I put together myself. Some work over the sludge wax. Harry waits for me. Who's Harry? See that portrait over there? That's my beloved Harry. He invented too sweet. When Harry passed away, he passed me on to Leona, along with the too sweet company. Such sweet sorrow. Go 
101. Tell me more. I'm all ears. Do you have any idea what it's like to live with that two-faced tacky tramp? My poor dear Harry. When Leona and Lewis get all that West Crofton land, they're going to be dancing on his grave. They can't do that, can they? I'm afraid so. If the Toot Sweet operation stops for any reason, Leona will inherit the sludge works and all the land. It's in Harry's will. Then it's goodbye, sludge works. Hello, Humphrey World. Following her husband Harry's death, Leona completely redecorated the Humphrey Mansion to give it a nice predatory feel. Here, Myron's maw tastefully engorges visitors who sit on the living room couch. Theodore the Tin Man greets guests to the Humphrey Mansion with decorously Chorus formal ball. stiff upper lip. Recently, Re however, however, survivors of an evening with Leona have alleged that Theodore, Theodore is more than just a suit of armor. That somehow that some Leona ball. has brought him to life and that he's ill-mannered, boorish, and rude. Come on, Louie, faster. Gotta work up an appetite for those fresh frogs. Ooh, does that sound good? I gotta hand it to you, babe. You think of everything. Quiet. Stan Lather's going to do a special report on TV. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you a special report. Gordon Beamish, Toot Sweet's Vice President of Public Relations, is about to make a statement. Ladies and gentlemen, people of Brumpton, I'm Gordon Beamish, former Toot Sweet Vice President of Public Relations. I'm here tonight to tell you about a conspiracy. As you know, the plumbers have struck, and sludge is backing up all over our fair city. I'm supposed to tell you everything's going to be okay. Well, it isn't. Leona Humphrey and Lewis Stuhl have plans for Brumpton that are not in your best interest or mine. I'm handing in my resignation first thing tomorrow. What's he doing? That moron. That traitor. That no good blabbermouth. I'm gonna kill the rotten fake. Tablecloth, just your average run-of-the-mill quilted table covering. Chalice, a bronze chalice owned by Leona Humphrey.
snack. Pick him up and take him to Sludge Wakes. What do you have in mind for him, Pumpkin? He's going to meet his most unpleasant, untimely death. Nobody, I mean nobody, double crosses Leona Humphrey and lives to tell about it. Beamish? Yeah, who wants to know? I don't know. I got others to pick you up and take you to a surprise. That Sheila. She sure knows how to treat a guy. A limo to take me to my own surprise party. What a hoot. Time be time. Across the Dumpling River. Yamasuki's newest and fastest jet ski comes with an onboard AM FM stereo tape recorder. Radio cassette tape recorder. What do you think you're doing in here, frog boy? 
this time I'm gonna fix your faucets for good. Take that, plunger puss! And that was Lynette Slug singing her big hit, I'm Under Hypnosis Cause My Old Man's Got Cirrhosis, here on your number one country music station. Coming up, we're going to play a new one from Connie and the Cow Chicks. But first, a word from our sponsor. Do you get that itching, burning sensation every time you sit down? Well, if you do... With the moon rising over Uranus and Jupiter aligned with Mars, your sense of timing is excellent. You can expect a financial windfall in the next few days, and because of your intuition is right on target, tonight is the night for romance. Higher-ups will see your potential, and you will find yourself on the path to fame and fortune. You are truly valued by your friends and loved ones, and a fabulous vacation with a nasty redhead is in your future. Tavern, Bert speaking. Hello. Is Ray there? Ray is busy. I'll take a message for him. It's an emergency. I gotta talk to him now. Hello, this is Ray. What do you want? Greetings, and thank you for dialing Alyssa's astrological hotline. Oh, my lucky stars. Yeah, and what happens when Jupiter aligns with Saturn and my biorhythms are at their peak? Hey, shut up, everybody. They're just about to pick the lottery tickets on TV. Jeez, I forgot to buy a ticket. This is the biggest jackpot in history, Bert. It's up to 40 million bucks. Get out of here, kid. No miners loud. Here you go, mister. I found this ticket in the street. Thanks, kid. You can stay and watch the lottery, okay? Then you gots to leave. There's a Shirley Temple for you. It's on the house. Here come the numbers. Quiet, everybody! I'm feeling lucky tonight, fellas. I got him! 
I got him! I can't believe it! I even got the bonus number too! All six numbers, I'm rich! I'm rich! 40 million smackaroos! Drinks are on the house! This could only happen to me! Nudie calendar, just the thing to brighten up any blue collar worker's day. A group of striking plumbers block the entrance to Humphrey Sludge Works. Union leader Lewis Stuhl has ordered them to picket the facility round the clock. What's going on here? Beat it, kid. Can't you see we're having a strike? This ain't no place for a kid. Wow, check out Miss June. Is she a picture of plumbing pulchritude or what? Sorry, Sonny. You can't get in here without a security pass. <laughs> What do you think you're doing in here, frog boy? This time I'm gonna fix your faucets for good. Take that, plunger puss! Hubba hubba! Miss October looks mighty fine! Security card! Well, it's not an Amex Gold card, but it might come in handy. Sorry, Sonny! You can't get in here without a security pass! <laughs> well, this security pass seems in order. But why would you have one, young fella? Oh well, I guess I have to let you in! a security guard at the Humphrey Sludge Works. I just let someone into the plant. I just think it's a little odd that a nine-year-old kid would have a security pass. You did what, you fool? Sound the alarm immediately. 
Oh, yes, ma'am. Right away. Mrs. Humpford. Alert! 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 You know why plumbers make the best lovers, Frank? No, Frankie. Why do plumbers make the best lovers? <laughs> no smoke. I don't know. I was kind of hoping you could tell me. Hey, who's that? Get him! you now, young tramwalker. really enjoy watching Gordon twist and turn. Too bad he can't flush the sludge back to save himself and something. Really, do something right now or your dad is history. Oh, what's he doing here? What the principal? Let's go get him! Willie! Help me or I'm a goner!
promise you anything. Just get me out of here! You saved me, Willy! I'm so proud of you! It was nothing, Dad. You did it, boy. I always knew you could do it. Hey, Willie Phoenix, our hero!